Hey, welcome to the Station Bakery. I am going to be showing you how I batch create my reels for Instagram. This is gonna be so much fun and I'm happy to like share this with you all because you know, I just wanna help and I just wanna make things a little bit easier for you all because I know how it is. I know how stressful and crazy things can be when you are trying to run your business and keep up with all of the social media stuff. Hopefully this video will inspire you and help you and give you ideas on how you can do the same. On recording day, one of the first things that I like to do, of course, is get yourself ready. <laughs> so I am wearing one of my own sweatshirts. If you're interested, you can head to the link in my description. What are you gonna wear in these reels? Then as I record, I might switch it out for something else, you know, just to make it look like I'm not doing it all on the same day. You know, you gotta mix it up. Then what I do is I like to find me a space that I'm going to record. Now I have made this super easy on myself and I have chosen a spot that I plan to stand in for all of my reels, at least all of the reels that I record of myself like this. And where I like to stand is right here in front of my refrigerator with my cake stands and things in the background, all of that. And I have my, let me turn y'all around so you can see. What is this? The island, <laughs> the island. And that is where I place my phone and my tripod so that I can record the shot. And I like to stand up close into the camera frame like this to, you know, really get that shot. But before we even get to that, I need to clean up this mess to make sure that it looks presentable in the background. So that's what I'm gonna do now. And now I am ready to start recording. Depending on how you work is going to affect the way that your process goes. So for me personally, I throughout the weeks, throughout the months, I'm constantly writing down real ideas in my phone. So I'm able to go through my phone and pick out the ones that I want to try to record for the day. And then I just use my script and I record away. You may be the type of person that you can just go off the fly and just record off the top of your head. That is perfectly cool. That is perfectly fine. Do what works best for you. Okay, so we are now inside of the Instagram app. And this is where I'm going to record these kinds of reels. I'm just gonna get everything kind of lined up in the way that I want and you can see down here there are different filters um let's see let's look okay I like the way that that one looks that looks cool and I'm just going to choose the filter that I think that I want to use now there are so many different filters and they can make you look all kinds of different right so just find ones that make you happy and make you feel good about yourself or you can like not use a filter at all that's perfectly fine too i really like this one because this one looks kind of like more natural um but i've already used this one for a lot so let me see this might be a little too much oh another tip because um this is lagging Another tip is to make sure that your phone is charged. And guess what? Mine is not. While I'm waiting for my phone to charge, we are going to talk about, well, let me show you this first. Like, look, look at this. Look at my charger, y'all. Like, look, how cool is this? And I use this, it's plugged in. It just sits right here on the counter with me. Like, look, like that is so cool, isn't it? And it's extra great for like, if you're making your cakes and your recipes and things, because you can just pull up your recipe and is sitting here and you could just like scroll through looking up your recipe and all that stuff right so that's pretty cool if you're interested in this it'll be linked in the description below but onto what i really wanted to show you which is very always helpful having a tripod some form of a tripod 
to record your content. Is it necessary? Absolutely not, right? Like we're creative people. We can come up with all kinds of ways on how we can prop up our phone to be able to record what we need. Even if you're just gonna hold it out in front of you, it's not necessary to buy anything really. But does it make it a lot easier to have a tripod? Most definitely. If you do want to be a little bit easier, have a little bit more mobility and flexibility in your creations, I would definitely recommend a tripod. Now this tripod is not expensive at all because <laughs> I don't really do that, right? I don't rock like that. This is actually a separate piece, this phone clamp for you to like put your phone on here. But it also comes off so you can put your camera if you're using cameras, it can fit on here as well. So it's very versatile. Sit it up and set it up wherever you need it. You can do vertical record, you can do horizontal recording. It's just great, right? But I'll have that linked in the description below for you. You can check it out, do your research and figure it out. Do what you need to do. But I just want to drop that in there for you because it helps me so much and I want to pass that information along to you. I want my phone to have at least maybe like 20%. It's currently at 10%, so we need to wait for 10 more little doop doop doops until we can start recording, but. While I'm charging my phone, I'm going to come here to my um, notes section. This is where I keep all of my information. You see here I have class ideas, short content, video ideas, video scripts and all of that good stuff and I also made a note in here for what I'm going to record for today and so I want to record these um these reels these will all be me talking but so that's what one two three but I also want to record some sorry that the angle is kind of weird I'm charging my phone on this charger and it's just you know anyways I want to record some non-talking reels, but reels that can be reused multiple times. So you know the reels that you've seen where like there's music and then like people like point and like words pop up on the screen. So those are the kind of videos that I'm going to record today, maybe like three or four of them. And then those can be like repurposed and reused multiple times, just change out the wordings, right? Which is perfect. So I think I'm just gonna go from here from the for you section and use these songs. I listened to them earlier and a lot of them are good for the whole point kind of vibe, right? So I'm just gonna make a mental note on the ones that I want to do and use while I'm waiting for my phone to charge. So you see what I'm saying? You see what I'm doing? Like, it's very simple, a very simple breakdown. You just have to choose how many times you're gonna point, when you're gonna go like this, what word, like, you know, yeah. But it's very straightforward, very simple. Just find a sound and a beat that you like and then just record it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to go find my scripts. Okay. So I'm gonna go with this first one right here. You know big numbers don't equal big sales, right? Okay. And this we don't need any sound for. So let me choose my face. What face am I gonna go with I don't know it just looks it's just a little too much just a little too much let's do this and then we'll come here and do this do y'all watch Bridgerton like do y'all watch Bridgerton oh I love Bridgerton and I'm so excited for the um the new season that's coming I'm excited y'all want to watch it together Okay, we can watch it together. <laughs> okay, let me just choose one of these and go with it because this is taking up way too much time. You know big numbers don't equal big sales, right? You know big numbers don't equal big sales, right? You know big numbers don't equal big sales, right? <clears throat> I mean, theoretically, the more traffic you get, the higher the chance for sales but it's more than that. You can have high numbers and low sales or low, low, bleh, bleh, bleh. Right? I'm 
You know All big right. numbers don't equal. Now that one is done and I'm going to save it as a draft. And we're moving on to the next one. I'm gonna save that as a draft and boom, two down. Now let's go to some of the music ones. <laughs> that was fun. Okay, let's look. And just like that, that is done. It's done. Okay, let's choose another audio. All right, let's see. And we're going to save it just like that. Okay. A lot of times with doing these reels, like it does not need to be perfect. Okay. So it doesn't need to be perfect. Okay. So I'm actually going to call it a day on recording those reels. I think I probably got like about six seven of them i believe and again like with these kind of reels well at least with like the last three or so they can be reused and repurposed and i'm just gonna go with what i have and yeah like i really hope that you all enjoyed this video i hope that this was helpful if you have any other questions about creating content and reels or batching content i have classes and e-guides available for you just check the description box below and leave any questions or comments that you may have down below and i will do my best to answer each and every one of them and follow me over on instagram for more tips and tricks on life as a home baker behind the scenes the stuff that people aren't going to tell you about that people are too ashamed to talk about i'm going to be sharing it all because your girl's not afraid and your girl's not ashamed okay we're all in this together and i'm going to do what i can to help you all with the knowledge and information that i have so yeah stay tuned watch this video here next and i'll see y'all in the next one peace